right? And, and for the people who are not familiar with who you are, could you like to know what it is that you do, brother? Well, I do so many things that I can't name one. <laughs> but if you figure out what that is, tell me. You feel it in the air, the night is filled with hope, it's time for change. Uh, when it makes you smile, if the beat and the feeling make the old people and the children smile, that's where I'm living. I can do it. Well, we hooked up because uh, we did a remix to the single History featuring Demi. Well, we wanted to do a jazz remix, um, something a little more adult contemporary style. and. Um, we made it happen. The song came out great. You know, we finishing it, putting it together. And um, he also played on another record I have that will be coming out at a later date. And he also is featured on it, uh, singing and, and, and doing some, some spoken word on it. So, you know, it's definitely a great look. And what, what, what does music mean to you? Well, it's all life. It makes life. It makes life feel good all the time. As long as you got that beat where you can get up and dance. And you can listen a little while, then you can take a chance. I can dig it. I hooked up with Olu through my man, Dao Darian, who is a great producer. Uh, he, he did uh, songs like Games Pain featuring Keisha Cole. He did Still Not a Player, Big Pun. He did Can't Knock the Hustle, Jay Z. He did Waiting for the DJ, Talib Kweli, John B. Um, he's just like a, he's a musical monster with it. Um, he's also like a mentor to me. So I reached out to him and um, cause he did the beat for um, History. So I reached out to him and explained to him, you know, I was looking to get Olu on this particular record that I had. And um, he made it happen. Uh, what does music mean to you? I mean, without music, everything would be quiet, and how would that work with life? I mean, what you gonna do? You can't even get up without a rhythm. So, you know, that's what right. you know. Right. You don't right. make the world go That's what's up. Daoud and I, our chemistry, I, I think, is great. You know, he, he's a musical genius in his own right. You know, sometimes we argue and, and stuff like that, but that's all through, at the end of the day, we, we trying to reach the same goal, which is, create a hot record, create some hot music. So, you know, that's that's my dog right there. And and, and the good thing about him is, is, you know, he's a producer that if he sees you working hard and he sees, you know, you got some talent, he'll definitely work with you, you know, definitely work with you. So, you know, I'd advise any any um, up and coming artists that, that feel they have the talent, they're serious, you know, I would definitely advise you, you know, reach out to him. Do you have any uh, <clears throat> encouraging words or anything inspiring to say to some of the people that are watching this that you may be going through their hardships every day, trying to get into the music, or just trying to get through life in general? What I think what you need to do is keep on doing what you're doing and don't get distracted and don't get down when people think you can't do it. So that's what you got to do. You know, as long as you do that, everything's going to happen. Because you know what you need to do if you stick to it. So that's what it is. That's what it is. All right, brother. Appreciate that. Uh, the experience was something that I will never forget. Let's just say that. I mean, the man has been performing since he was seven years old. He's been touring since he was like nine or ten or something like that. So that's crazy. You know, anytime you have the uh, opportunity to be around someone as knowledgeable as himself, um, that's been doing it for so many years, that in itself is crazy because that's knowledge and wisdom. So that is something that that's priceless right there. And then on top of that, he's a musical genius. The man plays multiple instruments. Um, he 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 played on one of the greatest albums of all time. You know the Illmatic album. So it was it was dope. Last quick thing is, do you have any encouraging words? Any words for for you know people today's generation? Any the up and coming artists, up and coming people, just life in general and the encouraging words. Yeah, I think it, it should be done the way it used to be done, is to enjoy it and have happiness in everything you do, to balance out things with the people. That's your job as a musician, 
If you were a plumber, you'd bounce out to somebody's bathroom. That's what it is. But I thank you for your time, and I want to tell you it was an absolute pleasure working with you today. And uh, or this, that's just like a, you know, fan speaking, and, and I appreciate everything. I mean, to know that he's only worked with a limited amount of hip hop artists like Africa Bambata, Nas, myself. You know, that, that definitely made me feel good because that's a great class to be amongst, you know. So for that, I was definitely thankful and grateful. But, you know, it's just about music. And I think that's the common bond that we all have, whether somebody's 80 years old, whether they're 10 years old. I think when, when you have the love for that music and that passion and you know that you like to create music to, to, to connect with other people, that's like the universal language right there. So that was definitely a great experience, and um, I hope, I hope through, you know with some of the words that he shared, I hope that enlightens and and and, and enlightens some of you guys is watching this. You know, it may or may not. I know it enlightened me, so I just wanted to pass it on. So, peace. Show me the money. Video coming very soon. Together as one, enjoying the festivities. Black, white, Latino, and Asian. Man, woman, and child, this is just so amazing. The bar's been raised, the example's been set. Martin Luther King's dream finally could manifest. You feel it in the air, the night is filled with hope, it's time for change.